the Grand Course Day Doi Toy is the first race on day two. It's a three mile one furlong grade one hurdle. And the top one is Delarain, Ryan Costello, Fred David Robertson, Monte Casino, Paul Fisk, Tigris of Gaul, Joshua Sutherland, Yeomanry Implication, Craig Allen, Beachdale, Lola, James Shea, Cole Martell, Lily David Robertson, Honey Honey, well, Graham Clutterbuck, Night and Day, and Recruiting Agent, both for Leon Van Rensburg and Joshua Sutherland has got the White Witch, which is the bottom one, number 11. So, called in, and away then. This run to the first, a short run to the first flight, which they're all safely to the other side of. With Honey Honey in the lead, 19 flights to take in all. They've already taken the first one. So we saw yesterday, far more hurdling to do in these French hurdle races than there are in the ones in Britain and Ireland and Honey Honey is the leader racing down towards the second past the winning post going to come past another couple of times yet what which is in second with stablemate Tigris of Gaul on that one's outside and the rail is Fred the first of the David Robertson horses this other one is Cole Martel Lily looking towards the back that around is just the back marker they're pretty tightly grouped as they get over the second with the exception of this leader Honey Honey who's got a four length lead to the White Witch and Tigris of Gaul, second and third. And the rest of them in a bit of a heap, with Cor Martel Lily probably just about fourth now on the inside. In comes recruiting agent Beachdale Lola, he is widest on the track. As they step over to third, which they're all safer to the other side of. And Honey Honey swinging left handed then with a lead of about four lengths. He's quite happy to be in front. The White Witch and Tigris of Gaul chasing in second and third. Then Cole Martel, Lillian Fred with Beachdale Loader and recruiting agent Monte Casino. He's after that one, then Yeomanry Implication, and then finally Night and Day and Della Rain as they make their way towards the next flight then. And as they do so, it's Honey Honey who steps over it first. Over it they go, all safely over it. The field beginning to just string out a little bit now as Honey Honey is putting the pace to the race leads by a good five lengths as they get over the fifth so they're big big sized hurdles these they seem to be able to jump them okay and honey honey is clear of the white witch in second and team of gold third that order has not changed throughout the race so far fred has now moved into fourth and jumped that one particularly nicely delarain is just beginning to struggle a little bit at the back but honey honey over the seventh, strange looking hurdle. And they're all safely over that one. It's a very short one to the next, which again, they're all over well. With Honey Honey still the leader from Tigris of Gaul and the White Witch together. And Fred, Yeoman Implication, has now moved out of the pack to take much closer order. Call Martel Lily and Monte Casino after that one. Then Beachdale Lola and the Leon Van Rensburg pair together, recruiting agent and night and day. And a gap of about four or five lengths then to the back marker, Delarain, who is just at this moment out of shot. But Honey Honey, undisputed lead so far. Honey Honey going for the money, money. Skips over the ninth. With Fred now moving up on the outside to take a share of second. They feel beginning to bunch again now, with the exception of Delarain, who's tailing off at the back as they come down towards the 10th. And Honey Honey led over that on the lead down to a little more than two and a half lengths now, though. Fred is in second. Tigris of Gaul is third. Then comes Yeoman Implication, who's moved through to fourth. Then Monte Casino, the White Witch, just been given a little bit of a breather, or maybe hitting a flat spot. Then Beachdale Lollers after that one. Carl Martel, Lily recruiting agent, and night and day. And Delarain's out of touch as they pass the winning post then with one more circuit of this Parisian track to go and Honey Honey is in the lead by a couple of lengths to Fred in second Tigris of Gaul on the inside is third and Yeoman implication before between them is fourth then Monte Casino and Beachdale Lola with a white witch still there on the inside then night and day after that one as they take the 11th recruiting agent is just at the back of that main pack and the lead for Honey Honey is now down to two with Tigris of Gaul going well in second. And Yeoman Reimplication, the White Witch is now getting back into it after being given that bit of a breather by the jockey there. Now moving through into third again. Fred's on the outside as they take the 12th call. Martel Lily, a good jump, moves up on the inside as stable mate Fred just drops back a little bit. Night and day's now beginning to get into it. That one's well fancied, of course. Honey Honey, there is still the leader by two lengths then as they race towards the final mile in this grade one. 
Hurdle and it's Honey Honey in the lead from Tigris of Gore and the White Witch. Then between the two of them, Cal Martel Lily. Yeoman Implication is after that one. Then Night and Day and then Fred. And then Recruiting Agent Beachdale Loader and Monte Casino as they make their way now towards this next 13th flight. And over that one they all go. They've still got just about six and a half furlongs to race. And it's the White Witch who's now taken the lead. The White Witch has gone on by about a length and a half to Cal Martel Lily as they take that 14th. And it's the White Witch who's in front. Yeoman Implication moving upon the end outside of Cal Martel Lily. Honey Honey just dropping back a little bit now on the insiders. Recruiting agent tries to get into it. Then Tigris of Gaul. Then comes Night and Day. Beachdale Lola's trying to run on over the 15th. They go. Just four more to take now then. And the White Witch is in the lead as Honey Honey tries to fight back. Yeoman Reimplication and Cal Martel Lily. Then Recruiting agent. The race is on in earnest as they take the fourth from home. It's a very short run to the third last. Which they'll step over now. And the White Witch is still in the lead. The White Witch but Honey Honey's trying to come back. Here comes Beachdale Lola on the outside. Yeoman Reimplication throwing down a challenge as well now so too is Tigris of Gaul the race is wide open and the White Witch is swinging towards home then with just two more flights to take and it's the White Witch in the lead from Tigris of Gaul in second then comes Beachdale loader on the outside Yemen implication on that one's inside recruiting agent and night and day trying to run around the outside Cal Martel Lily and Honey Honey just dropping away and Monte Casino and Fred look out of it but it's the White Witch and Tigris of Gaul up the second last and Tigris of Gaul just landed in the lead here comes Beachdale loader now with a big run and also here comes night and day but it's Tigris of Gaul who's got first run down towards the final flight Tigris of Gaul jumps over it gets away from it where the White Witch is in hot pursuit but it's the Tigris of Gaul who's going on then Tigris of Gaul inside the final furlong the only one coming out of the pack is Cal Martel Lily and Cal Martel Lily is eating up the ground it's Tigris of Gaul Delarain's gone at the back Tigris of Gaul Cal Martel Lily beginning to get up on the outside and Cal Martel Lily has got up to steal it Cal Martel Lily is the one and Tigris of Gaul second and the White Witch and then Fred and then Yo implication and night and day didn't get going at all today and Cal Martel Lily came up and stole that race on the line Tigris of Gaul looked all over the winner with that good jump at the final flight but Cal Martel Lily takes it for David Robertson Tigris of Gaul second for Joshua Sutherland who was also third with the White Witch Fred for winning trainer David Robertson was fourth and Yeomanry Implication for Craig Allen was fifth